I've had so much work, which is blessing. It is a blessing or whatnot. But I had, uh, we done six jobs yesterday. We were around everywhere. So and during these times, I'm, I don't really think a lot about video. And right now I'm driving a 2020 Denali. It's got an EVAP uh, code or whatever for a local car lot. They replaced the canister still throwing the code so they want to they said they want a proper diagnosis or whatever so i'm gonna go take to the house test everything out and see what's going on with it and why it keeps throwing the code like it does then they got a power stroke or a f-250 or something they want me to do a transmission in i done a transmission yesterday on a little honda for another guy got it done but like i said it's it's almost race time Almost time to get car back together. I told Nigel to get me some heads ordered. Done talk to his guy at Ice, see about them, or order Mr. Trick Flows, whatever. We need to get the ball rolling on it. So that way we can go and get a new turbo kit built. So I almost got the firewall done to where I'm ready to turn around and uh, sand it and paint it. I started working on it the other day. Started videoing it after I was on the progress and my phone decided it wanted to die. So I'm about ready to, uh, I got a little bit more sanding to do, and then I got throw some primer on it, clean some stuff up, tape some stuff off, then we can paint it under the hood. Hopefully by that time we'll have the heads here. I can go ahead and set the motor down in the car, and we can start routing stuff. Hopefully our intercooler will be here from Jamie. We can get, we can start getting stuff routed and plumbed the way it needs to be plumbed and all that stuff. But racing's here. Shadyside Outlaw starts in uh, three weeks, two weeks, two weeks. There's some racing going on right now. I'd like to be a part of so. We're going to get out and get it. So right now my only focus has been just trying to make some money and save some money back to change up some stuff on the car and stuff like that. Me and Nicky have been working on getting out of debt. We're getting super, super close. So I want to get my house paid for. I want to get everything paid off and everything. Just this year is that year for me. <clears throat> I want to get everything knocked down, paid off, out of the way, and relax a little bit. I mean, then we got 2020, 2018 Mercedes. I said that the rear airbags on this thing tend to sag after it sits a little bit. So, a little bit of glass cleaner, a little bit of soap, a little bit of water. We're gonna hose down everything and figure out where the leak is on the system. It has these airbags or air suspension. We got the airbags on the back of the thing. I'll just show you if y'all look. Dirty. Hold on a minute. So look, the bags were dry rotted around it on the bottom. That's what would cause it to leak the seat down. The larger machine had to adjust it to these big old rotors on here. This thing was uh, kind of painful. I don't know if they put the whole rear end to get it. They the rear end the whole thing. They took the hose off it. It was the rotor. So I got this machine hooked up where I need it so I can go through and turn it. So you got oil here, which is kind of normal. But see the bottom of the head up there, right there, very, very top. Right there, you see some oil. And you see right on your VTEC switch. The VTEC switch up there has been leaking a little bit. Your valve cover is leaking on top, and your VTEC switch right there. The oil pressure switch is right below it. has been replaced and it is not leaking. But that solenoid above it has two bolts in it. You need to get to a VTEC gasket. And you need to go through and get to a valve cover gasket. But if you look at the bottom of that manifold and the bottom of the head down there, it's wet all the way down it from where it's leaking off the valve cover coming down. But you also need that brake loose. 2017 Pirate Stroke four-wheel drive. Transmission's on the back of it. Oh, she's a big one. She's a big one, ain't she? Damien's gonna love that. Right. Oh, yeah. This thing is fast. Fast? Yeah. Fast, fast, ain't it? Oh. I mean, for, 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 for a freaking luxury, nice car. It's an Audi S7 or oh, This thing. <laughs> you like that, don't you? I do. I like it. It's freaking cool. So for a car super quiet like this, very intense. Very fast. Right here. Loud to brake. Oh, 
It's like very, it. very fun to drive. It's, it's, you can't not I, not I like, like that. It. I'd like to have one actually. You can't not not like this, could you not? No. Driving this is it. Nice. I bet you want uh, twenty six or twenty eight nine thousand dollars for it. Really? Yeah, but it's like it was about a hundred new. Oh, I bet. But you see, you can you can't drive this and not like it. No, it's it's nice. freaking just the drivability and all that. It handles. Good. It handles good. It's awesome. It's like the 2016 S7 is what it is. But Damien likes this thing. Like he it. says it's nice, nice. Y'all know I ain't a Ford guy, but this old F250, 350 Platinum. This thing's pretty nice. So I got looking and a minute ago I was going on the road and a car wouldn't turn in front of me. It says collision and it likes to freaking dash up up here red like when they turn in front of me. It's pretty freaking cool, honestly. I ain't never seen nothing like it. But it did, it throw the uh, collision warning out on the front of it. To let me know that I was too close. This thing's doing great. It's gonna put that transmission in it. Take it back to them, 55,000 miles on it, 57,000 miles on it. Pretty nice one. There she is, don't want to too bad on it, does it? Doesn't make a decent little race car. So this is the new body for that thing. It's got a little ding there in the door. Paint's flaking, but can be sanded off. Need that piece of trimmer replaced. Back bumper looks good on it. Last on the road, 22. This side looks good. I think there's one, one little ding or something over, over in this area, maybe. Right there, a little ding right there. But for the most part, it's pretty straight body car. Like it might have used to been green, but it might be just primer. But we gotta get in here. We clean. We took it last night to the car wash and cleaned out all the trash that was in this thing. It was full of cigarettes and beer bottles. Like it was full of. It. So Katie will come on today. He's gonna pull the seats out of it. We gotta cut the whole floor out of the car around it. Then we're gonna come over here to this car and we're gonna cut the floor. Well, the floor already cut out of this car. Look right here. We're gonna cut this car out, and the reason why I'm doing it is I start putting the water panel on right here. And I found this right here. Some galvanized metal, it looks like, with some Bondo piled up. This whole corner right here is with it. And I said, Man, I'm not messing with that. So as I got there, I, put, I started putting the quarter panel in. When I got to here and seen this little bit of work right here, I said, Nah, heck, with odds are gone, and I'll rebody this thing. So. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to cut the body off this thing. Cut the front pieces loose. Oh, our frame rails will be straight and all that. Basically, we'll cut it right here along the floor. Right here at the bottom along the floor. We'll cut the whole floor section all the way down the side and all the way out the back. Lift the car up. Roll the pan out from underneath it. And we'll cut that car the same. And we're going to cut these bars off because we'll redo these. So we're going to go through and cut these bars loose right here. And we'll take this body, drop it down on it, and then build what we need to build off of it. Got a little bit of work, but we'll get there. So we're fishing to go ahead and start taking this thing apart. And pull the doors back off of them. We're we'll going to cut the body off of it. The windshield's just laid on it, so I'm going to set the windshield over there. Pull the hatch back off of it. Like I said, if it wouldn't be for the Bondo, it's up in the roof. It just mobbed in about that I don't like. I'd leave it on there, but I, yeah, there's just some things that hurt me about it. Nothing against nobody or nothing. I just had some dings here, dings, you know, there. Bondo built up on it real thick everywhere. I'd just rather go ahead and take stuff off this one. Put that, put it all on that one. Basically, we're going to start by going and cutting the front section. I'll cut the roof off of it. Come here, saw it all stuff, pull the windows back out of it. Start getting everything ready so we can just drop this cage in that car. All right, I got it stripped down. So I figured it'd be a good time. Let's go and cut the roof off of it. 
I got the hatch loose. I'll wait until Damien or Caden gets back to help me pick it up so I don't tear the wing up that I redid. So let's go and start cutting this thing apart. As you can tell right here, there's Bondo right here. Tell by the way that stuff right there is just rolled around. I might hit it with a hammer up here and just see how bad the Bondo is. But there's gonna be some Bondo all in this thing, I promise you. I can just tell by the way it looks, the way the body line looks. Just gonna get rid of all that. big flakes I can't this this roof right here probably be five pounds heavier than one in that car when I'm done with it the main thing is is when you're trying to build a nice lightweight car shit like this just ain't, 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 gonna, ain't gonna get you there you know what I mean it's just even though it's small to some people somebody like me I just don't like it and I just rather go ahead and replace it then they got the roof and got a patch over it. Took a break for a few minutes. This is how far along we came. Spot up here we get to weld. Spot right there. That looks like it needs to be welded. I don't believe that's welded. I believe that's just siliconed or painted, but I'm gonna dig it out to make sure it's welded. We need to clean that weld up. Usually when they look like that, they got silicone on them. They're a pile of silicone around them. We'll see, we'll dig them out while we got it. I see like the cage over here on the top. Very common when they're taking our roofs on a car. So we need to weld that, finish welding that all the way around it. There's one right there. We got to weld around it here which that bar might come out but it's only welded around a little spot so so we got the quarters off of it the back of it around it need to do a little work right here on that little edge i need to put my quarter pattern and jack them out and box them in on both sides i'll just box both them in i'll go ahead and cut this last little bit of stuff off here clean these little stubs off the frame get all that stuff ready get Caden ready to paint everything clean everything up so we gotta cut these rockers off right here down the side get the rockers cut off of it then we slide that body down on it once we cut the floor out of it we go down the side cut the floor out of it clean it all up on it and get ready to drop that body on it so you also got like damage right there what we're doing we're taking care of all that so i've done cut it all the way down the side I gotta get that pinch wood off of it, grind it all up, clean it up, grind that up a little bit, and we'll have this side ready to drop the body on. Once I straighten that out, we'll do the other side the same way. Then this thing will be ready for a body. Well, not yet. I gotta go through and clean off these gussets or these welds right here. I gotta clean those off, clean that off down there. I gotta clean that up, clean the weld off down there. I gotta cap it inside. So I'm doing something different with them. I'm not gonna follow the same exact this uh the firewall is really right here. I don't like it being right here. I'd rather it be on this side. So we're gonna do something a little bit different with it. Which what I'll actually think about doing is just moving the body back a little bit. Inch inch and a half right there. I, I done the calculator earlier on the baseline on the anti squats and all. And I'm thinking about, like I said, just moving the chassis back just a little bit, inch, inch and a half. The driver's seat, everything, move it back just a hair. And uh, that way, this won't be right at the window. It'll be a little bit off the window. And our firewall will start right there. Then we can go through and take it. And our, our plate over there can be mid with the firewall. It can be even with the firewall. The firewall can pinch right down on here, and that can sandwich it in. So we'll see. Cut all my notches. If you notice from my spot welds are, I notch them out. 
I go back there and grind them flat like I did on this side over here and turn my light on. So I gotta come over here, grind those, grind off them pieces. Well, then that this body's ready, this chassis is ready to put that body on it once I cap a few pieces and do a little bit different on what I want to do. I'm gonna go ahead, these frame rails, they get thin right here and they come over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a pipe, I put a, a piece of tube from here to there and cap the outside when I'm just gonna cut these off. Basically I'm gonna run a tube from here to here. I'm gonna notch it and I'll come in here and just cut it off and I'll cap the outside, make it look nice. And that way we can just get rid of that last little bit of factory frame rail right there that it don't need. It ain't really got a lot of structure there with it being cut. So, but it's coming along. Got the Mars project, another one of them water pumps on that same little motor like it was in that uh, Explorer. Yep, same motor. Lincoln MKZ. Lincoln MKZ. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. So I rode by Nigel, so my head's come today. Heads in the new valve, so I'm gonna turn around and take the, uh, my old heads and a set of springs I had that don't have many passes on it. Take the machine shop and let them go ahead and shim them up. Put the, uh, I don't know why I yawn when the camera comes on. It's freaking terrible with that. But I'm gonna take the uh, heads to the machine shop, the other, the one set of heads to the machine shop, take the other set of heads to the machine shop, get the valves put in it, get the springs put on, get all that ready. Then we'll be ready to drill them for half inch studs and get that motor together here later this week. So y'all ride with us. So we'll come up here and knock this out real quick. Didn't take long. Got our timing marks. Got our mark right here, our gold link there. Our gold link on the back. Same on that side. Got all our marks on it. She's ready to rock and roll. Go check that out. Check this out. Hey, come out of that Mustang out there. Damien told me, he said, Daddy, I ain't getting that money out. So I'm gonna get that money out. It's $10 and nine cent. I was in the floorboard at that Mustang under the seats. I poured bleach on. Hey, we'll still spend it. 